Local rebel forces are preparing to attack Colonel Ground's munitions depot. You'll patrol the area in preparation for the attack and keep the depot safe. Graum is a fool, but his assets belong to the Empire. Therefore, they belong to us. During your patrol, Titan III will secretly search the station, its freighters, and cargo shuttles for Viradium. This explosive material will be a valuable tool against the Starhawk. Tag the Viradium, and LT-514 will retrieve it remotely. While Graum is kept busy by the rebel attack, escort the Viradium to the Overseer for safekeeping. According to the Colonel, these three towers hold large munition stockpiles and will be the Rebels' priority targets. It's a powder keg. If we lose the towers, we lose the depot, and the Overseer will be defenseless. Remember, as long as repairs are still underway, we can't afford to engage the Republic. Secure the Viradium, halt the Rebel assault, and then we can leave the Remetic system. You're on your own, Titan Squadron. Let's do this right. I owe you and the rest of Titan Squadron an apology. When the Overseer was attacked, I realized that everything I know about war is what I've read. I'm beginning to understand how it must feel in that cockpit under fire. Terrifying. Yet you and the others risk it every day. I took this assignment to learn. Clearly, I still have a long way to go. I know Colonel Graum is in the wrong, and yet seizing his munitions feels drastic. But Captain Carroll is entirely correct that Admiral Sloan's orders supersede Grom's, and we are committed. To work. There's much to do. Why is it that small-minded officers are always the quickest to flaunt what little power they have? Grom can lord over this pathetic corner of the galaxy all he likes. But I will not allow him to jeopardize our mission. This depot has everything we need to annihilate the Starhawk. Graham may be an obstacle, but he's not our enemy. We will do our duty to protect Imperial assets. Go. Prepare your ship. This routine is familiar. We've suffered, we're damaged, broken even, but it's not the end, never is. Next steps are simple. We heal up, find Vanguard, then take revenge. The first crash was hardest. I had to relearn breathing, walking. Saw my cockpit in nightmares. Wasn't personal. The rebels shot me down. My wingmate returned fire. But pain is personal. My team deserved my best. The Empire demanded it. So step by step, I conquered pain. I rose, I flew, Nadiri's ahead, until, <laughs> until then, surviving is revenge. Let's fix this. It never fails. Bureaucratic bastards like Colonel Graham are always in the way. My brothers died on a rebel raid with the 181st that never should have happened. I blame the Imperial Senator, who pushed for that doomed mission just as much as I blame the rebels who fired the torpedoes. Pick any military disaster and you'll always find some bantha-brained bureaucrat was behind it. Captain Carroll is making the right call with this mission. Let's go.
Captain Carroll has assigned you a TIE Interceptor. This machine is built to cut down enemy fighters. And that's what you do best. Titan is outbound. Colonel Growl, I've ordered Titan Squadron to patrol the area in preparation of the enemy attack. Good. My munitions depot is as valuable as it is volatile. I expect you to defend it with your lives. Titan Squadron, split up and patrol the depot. Find the Paradium before any rebels arrive. Copy, Grave. Titan 3, follow me. Control towers are operational. Don't let the rebels destroy all three. Nobody survives that chain reaction. Sounds like you speak from experience, Shen. Which I know you do. ships in the area, target and scan them to locate the Paradium. Titan 3, split up and find it. Scanning freighter. Titan 3, do the same. No Paradium, anyone. That freighter doesn't have Paradium, but I'm detecting concussion missiles. Heavy ion cannons and plasma bombs as well. Think of what we could have accomplished at Endor with these supplies. Come on, Titan 3. Got a plan. During the Chambas incursion, our forces used Meridium. Moved it with Zeta class cargo shuttles. If Grom has Meridium, he might be doing the same. We use Meridium strikes to drive the Rebels out of hiding at Jabez. But it didn't flush the Rebels out. It incinerated them. Excellent. We'll secure the Meridium during the enemy raid. We're ready for them. Titan, we have rebel forces emerging from hyperspace. Right on time. Rebel bombers are targeting the control towers. 
shuttles to the Overseer. Ground won't notice a thing while he's under siege. Focus on the Paradium. We'll take care of one shuttle group. Titan 3 and I will handle the other. I'm in formation. Sent in a frigate. Destroy it immediately. Shen, take point with ion bombs. We'll follow your lead. I'll bring down their shields. Titan 3, you'll focus on the turrets after the frigate's shields go down.
destroyed. Good work, Titan. You've secured the Meridium and saved this depot from the Rebels. Mission accomplished. Both Grom's mission and ours, Captain. Titan, dock aboard the depot for immediate debriefing. Titan Squadron, return to the Overseer at once. We're leaving the Remetic system. Captain, I reassigned you. My orders come from above you, Colonel Growl. I have everything I came for. Cut communications with this imbecile. You'll regret this, Captain. I promise you that. Amos, Grom. We keep running into fools who forget what side they're on. See, this is why we need a new Imperial Senate. Someone who can keep these idiots in check. We have a war to win. Officers like Grom need direction, not a leash. Looking to the horizon is all very well, Saul. But remember to look at what's going on around you. With that Beradium at our disposal, we'll be at the forefront of the attack on the Nadiri dockyards. We got caught off guard at the Xavian Abyss. That can't happen again. In one move, Captain Carroll took us from a near shipwreck to a key military asset. She'll have a plan. Let's see what's next. <laughs> 